hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to revise a question which is coming from the topic known as uh, magnetism in physics so this question came in 2017 gce science paper one so if you are new to this channel you are most welcome guys consider liking the video subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comment section how this video is going to help you all right so without further ado let's go straight into this revision all right so this question reads 2017 gce science paper one figure i mean this was b7 which means it was question seven which says figure b7.1 shows magnetic field lines between the poles of two magnets okay so pause when they talk of pause they, are, they mean north and south so we are we can see that we have this magnet and this magnet here okay and then we can see that it has these fields here okay these are the fields lines with arrows labeled on them so these arrows signifies the direction of the fields that the field on this bar magnet is coming from P going to, I mean from Q going to P, and also on this other magnet, the fields are coming from S going to T like that. And on the middle here, where we have this point and arrow, we do not have uh, magnetic fields. So let's see how we can answer the questions. So question um, L, a says name point R. So what do we call this point here, which does not have magnetic fields? So you can see there are no magnetic fields here. So guys, this point is known as a neutral point. So this point is known as a neutral point. All right. Then we move to B. B says if P is the south pole, we are told if this P here is the south pole, okay, so this one is the, they've told us this is the south pole, okay. Then they're saying, what are the poles Q and T? So meaning, what is this pole Q and T here? Guys, this is a very simple, very simple question. So for you to be able to answer this, you must know that a magnet has two pairs of four poles. It has what we call the south pole and the north pole. Now, if you are given that this one is a south pole, automatically this one becomes north pole, okay? Then, you see, this one gives you an idea to answer the rest of these questions because, okay, in this one, even when they never told you that this one is um, the south pole, what you must know here is that fields in a magnet originates from the north going to the south. So where fields originate from, this one becomes the north. And definitely where they are originating from this side, this is also north. You can also know that this is the north pole. And where they go to, that is now become the south pole. So this one is the south pole. All right. So once you determine that, so simple. So fields originate from the north pole to the south pole. So they are originating from North Pole to the South Pole. So you know these now, you have labeled the poles. So when they say if P is the South Pole, what are the poles Q and T? In fact, they never, they were not supposed to say if P. They were just supposed to ask maybe what are the poles uh, Q and T? Because giving you the lines, they've already given you an idea of who, what these poles are. Meaning this was South, this was south, and the fields here are not touching each other. It means that they are repairing each other. Because according to the laws of magnetism, 
a like pause repel okay laws of magnetism says laws of magnetism okay they say that in like like it means the same so like or same pause repel meaning that it north and north will repel south and south will repel meaning that it uh, north to north repel and also south to south will also do what repel then also what you should also know is that the unlike unlike or different poles unlike or different poles attract which means that a uh, north to south attract yeah attract that's what you should do no so this one is a very very important property so it's a very very important property okay so now using this property that's why you are seeing these lines are not touching each other if this was a north if this was a south these lines were going straight to the to touch the south pole now they are not touching they are going their direction without touching each other or without the this pole and this pole joining each other that means that they are repairing as these lines indicate they are repairing or they are opposing each other so now after explaining that we have seen that the q this one is north so you can say this one is north pole and then in t you have seen that t is what south pole so two marks right then when we come to question c it says explain how soft iron keepers help magnets retain their magnetism for a longer period of time okay so there are what they call soft iron keepers okay now what you must understand that it is that um, magnets lose their magnetism uh, after uh, some time okay so magnets lose their magnetism after some time now if you want to keep magnets uh, to keep their magnetism for a longer period of time you need to use what we call soft iron keepers so this question is asking us to explain how these soft iron keepers help magnets retain their magnetism for a longer period of time okay so what we should understand is that um, magnets lose their magnetism after some time why do they lose their magnetism after some time this is because mag uh, magnetic fields tend to reverse the uh, what we call the magnetic pause or the the pause yes what we call the domain pause inside a magnet because a magnet uh, is made up of what we call let me explain this one very well so a magnet for instance it has a small small magnets inside it which we call dipoles so we can have small magnets inside like that So where they point to, this is the north and this is the south. So when they are outside, these they create magnetic fields which come like this. Okay. 
So that's what they do when the outside, the creative is the magnetic fields. So again, these magnetic fields now will be like this. Okay, that's how they are going to, to be. Okay, like that. Now, you see, if you keep a magnet for a longer period of time, these magnetic fields will start reversing these poles. So, like these poles will start facing in different direction. Like these here, they may start facing in different direction, and these will start facing in different direction because of these magnetic fields. So, these magnetic fields tend to reverse the direction of the poles inside because of that then if a magnet is kept like that without using soft iron keepers it may lose its magnetism or it loses its magnetism after a longer period of time so to avoid that we use what we call magnetic keepers so we put what are known as a magnetic keepers so if this one is a magnet we keep them in, in pairs. This one is a magnet and this one is a magnet. So this one, if this is south, this is, it. I mean north, south, this one should be south, this one should be north. Then we bring soft iron materials here, we put them here, okay? Another one will come here. So that the magnetic fields are locked here. Okay, so this will diminish the magnetic field that are going like that. So when it diminishes magnet, uh, the magnetic fields, then that prevents it, the magnet losing its magnetization. So when they say explain how soft iron, soft iron keeps, uh, soft iron uh, keepers, I think this one should have been keepers help magnets retain their magnetism for a longer period of time. You can say uh, they do so, they do so by diminishing, you can say diminishing magnetic Field lines around a magnet. So when they diminish those magnetic field lines, then there will be no what no reverse. So that's what they do. All right. So now we go to Question D, which says state two differences between iron and steel as magnetic materials. So we have two types of magnetic materials, which are iron and steel. So we can say that um, uh, iron is easy to magnetize. Wow, steel is not easy to magnetize. This is one difference. Then the second difference you can say is that iron loses loses its magnetization easily while steel does not lose its magnetization easily okay so this is how you are expected to answer these questions so you see 
there are very simple questions here. So this is how these questions were supposed to be answered. So guys, we have come to the end of this um, uh, science paper one revision on a topic known as magnetism. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more and also let me know in the comment section for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye and see you in the next video. Peace.